Hello, teacher Jackie here with a video about teacher to teacher feedback. Now, if you're new or even if you're a veteran, you may have forgotten this, but when you are finished with a class, you give feedback for the student. Hello, thank you for coming to class. You got five stars. Please work on reading, pronunciation, whatever. The next box is feedback like teacher notes. I can't remember what it says, but we also call it teacher to teacher feedback. In there can be notes for yourself to remember that you know, Tommy likes blue trucks and wants to be a scientist when he grows up. But that's also good information for the next teacher. Let's say you're not going to be teaching Tommy again, but you want the next teacher to know his English name is Tommy. <clears throat> he likes the color blue. He likes trucks and he wants to be a scientist when he grows up. You really need to put stuff in there of value. I've seen many teachers put in there, um, the same feedback, the same like, welcome to class, you got five stars, <clears throat> excuse me, and so on. I guess at the end of the day, you can honestly put in there whatever you want. It's your choice. <laughs> it's your box. But I will say I have a few notes here to um, just share and encourage teachers to, um, again, for yourself and for other teachers to add value. For number one, look to see what previous teacher feedback looks like. So if you don't know how to do that, when you go to your bookings and you go to classrooms, you'll see your list of te you know, students, the lesson, and then you go to classroom or materials. Well, if you click on the student name, when that pops up, you have the bottom, the feedback. You have yours and you have previous uh, teacher's feedback. When you click on previous teacher, you'll see at least one. To the right at the bottom, it says more. So you click on more. And with that, you can see more. And if you already see Tommy, blue, truck, you probably don't have to repeat that. Now you should say something new. Like, um, he's 15. He's fluent. Um, things like that. So here we go. I have a quick list of things that you should put in for yourself and or for other teachers, but also encourage not to repeat what the last teacher said, because it kind of has a running history. I went to one and it, they all said, Tommy 15 blue, Tommy 15 blue, like that doesn't help anyone. <laughs> <clears throat> and you don't have to put it in every time. So um, you put it in once and then the next time, if it's the same stuff, you just don't, don't put anything in there because it'll just sit there until the next teacher's feedback comes in. Now, I think it goes, it kind of gets bumped out after five or so. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but again, so you may need to come back after the fifth previous teacher feedback and repeat Tommy 15 blue. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number one. Okay, this is again our list. Let's see if, I don't know how many number, about six items for our value added teacher to teacher feedback. Okay, make sure this box is good. So number one, an age or name, you know, the English name and or their age. Those are really, really good to know. Now we have seen too some students share accounts. So you have Tommy and Sally are on there. So you can say Sally is eight and Tommy is 15 and they're using the same account that happens. And that was very helpful when I saw that in one of my students' um, teacher feedbacks. The next thing, things that they like. What's their favorite color? What's their favorite, you know, animal? What's their favorite food? What's their favorite character? Uh, after that, maybe their favorite sport, their favorite class, academics, their, um, I just went blank, what they want to be when they grow up. So these are all good rapport questions too. So if you're watching this video for the list for teacher feedback, great. And if you're watching this for the rapport, it is very, very helpful for that. What else do I have? Oh, so the next really good part, I'm almost done, is um, listing their weakness or and their strength, okay? So you can say, Tommy says, uh, all the time. When he reads, when he talks, let's help him cut that and just say the word or strength Tommy 
um, is very fluent at talking conversation. Tommy reads very, very well. So it's good to know what the student is good at or what they need help with to really utilize our time. 25 minutes can be long, but it also can be very short, especially if we stop the class for a moment to explain C-E, C-I, C-Y, the C has an S sound, that kind of stuff. So let's make sure we explain briefly weaknesses and strengths. Lastly, this is something I have started personally new this kind of season, uh, 2023 for my teaching high student, or if the parent is there, what are your goals? What's your goals? I had one today. I said, what are your goals? And he said, speaking. Of course, after three or four slides, I definitely wanted to help him improve his reading, but he wanted to improve his speaking. So for the next set of slides, we did more of that. He spoke, I corrected his sentences, and he greatly, greatly improved. It was wonderful. So I was so happy for him. So that's it for this video to, one, encourage you to do it, but two, don't do it if you're just going to say the same thing, and three, if you do, make sure it's value added, and I guess the little bonus is rapport, getting some ideas and questions on, asking your student questions. I actually do these throughout the lesson, too. This is my last little bonus tip, is, um, let's say, we... Hi, how are you? What's your name? Great. How old are you? Great. Um, when do you want to be when you grow up? Great. Let's start class. Start class. Four or five slides in. Like, hey, just kind of pause. What's your favorite color? Oh, great. Here's a blue star. We move on. Da, da, da. Um, and then I ask, especially if it's about sports, baseball. Do you like baseball? I've had most of my students say, no, they don't like baseball. <laughs> and so we move forward with that. Again, find times, beginning, middle, or end of your class to connect with your student. It's just a really, really important part. That's it. All right. Well, thank you for coming to my uh, video and my channel. Like, subscribe, comment, and I really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>